Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. Today, in this video, we would like to talk about relation between electric potential and electric intensity. First of all, we need to define electric potential. As we have done in the previous post, it is defined as the amount of work done in bringing a unit positive charge from infinite distance up to a particular point is called electric potential. We have just now calculated in the video, previous video that the potential due to a point charge is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R where Q is the charge and R is the distance from that charge where we are calculating the potential. We also need to know electric intensity due to that point charge is defined as amount of work done in bringing a unit positive charge from infinite to a given point is called as potential whereas electric intensity is simply the force experienced by a unit positive charge when it is placed in an electric field. So you can write something like f is nothing but equal to e q naught or e equal to f by q naught. Say for example if you want to remind back the definition of that e you are having a charge q and you are having another charge for example q naught between them there is a certain distance r if you want to calculate electric field intensity which is defined as the force experienced by 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 in the place of q2 you have to write either q naught who is equal to 1 by distance square that is it. This is how electric intensity is defined as it is the force experienced by a unit positive charge when it is placed in a field. Now I want to find the relation between them. If you notice the derivations, the denominator there is r here, there is r square here, everything else is same. So if I am if I am able to get a r square in the denominator, I can express the potential in terms of intensity quite easily. So what I am going to do is, you are having a potential due to a point charge equation 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r. Let us divide this equation with r and multiply with the equation with r q by r and r, r square and r. Now it is simple, this is nothing but electric field intensity into R, that is it. This is how we can find a relation between electric potential and the intensity or you can write E as V by R or else something like V by D. It is further noticed that we are doing the potential or else we are doing the work against the field as it is against the electric intensity of a field. Therefore, I can write actually E as minus dV by dr or minus dV by dx whatever it is r or x is a location or at a particular distance. This minus is a symbolic way of saying that when you are talking about potential you are doing some work and you are doing that work against the electric field intensity. To say that it is against the electric field intensity we need to use a negative sign. From this you can further write dV equal to minus E dr that is a small change in potential to get the total potential I can integrate the equation integral of minus E v equal to integral of minus E dr that implies I can also further write a potential if it is required in any given scenario that the potent electric field intensity is a variable with respect to rotation integral of differentiation of V will become V itself minus integral of e dot to dr where the dr could be having limits from r1 to r2 we can apply the limits also this is how we can find a relation between electric field and the electric potential where electric field is defined as we can write the definition of electric field as amount of work done in bringing a unit positive charge from infinite distance up to a particular point Similarly, electric intensity is defined as the force experienced by a 
unit positive charge when it is placed in a electric field is called something like electric intensity. That is it, that is the relation. We will continue this discussion further in the further video lessons. Thank you.